over 901,000 wreaths at over 1,100 locations across the nation. Included some 240,000 uh, wreaths at Arlington National Cemetery. A truly American story and a, a real amazing story starting from one person and uh, growing to honoring close to a million of our fallen veterans. Uh, this month, I didn't know this until I spoke to you, is Veterans Appreciation Month, something that I never really heard of. You always hear about like Black History Month or Women's History Month. It's so nice to hear that we actually have a month dedicated to those who serve and those who give the supreme sacrifice, our veterans. How, do you know uh, how this uh, started and how long have you been uh, bringing awareness to people like me who don't know about uh, Veterans Appreciation Month? Well, it's uh, for, for us, we, we like to say that every month should be Veterans Appreciation Month. But uh, I guess the history of, of uh, uh, like Memorial Day being in, in the month of May uh, started way back at Civil War times when uh, uh, they used to call it Decoration Day. Uh, we we try to say we don't decorate when we place the wreath down, that we are placing the wreath as a remembrance and a thank you to the veterans. Uh, but with Memorial Day, a lot of people think that, well, that's the first real big uh, weekend for the summer to start and barbecues and uh, picnics and things like that. But it's really uh, a day to uh, not only remember the veterans, but remember specifically those who lost their lives in the sacrifice uh, for protecting our freedoms. Uh, we we consider, like we say uh, on our on our uh, booster campaign with the T-shirts, uh, shirts that they can buy. Uh, every every month should be Military Appreciation Month. We uh, we wouldn't have the freedoms we have without those dedicated people who serve uh, our country, protecting our our freedoms. Uh, and, and now it's all volunteers. So we especially thank those who step up and and put their life on the line to protect our freedom. This month especially, uh, but we want to remember that throughout the year. Absolutely. Now, now you mentioned this booster program that Reefs Across America is doing. Tell everybody more about that and how they can purchase a T-shirt and, and get involved with your organization. Well, they can they can go on to uh, the booster campaign on our webpage at reefsacrossamerica.org. Uh, and uh, there's T-shirts and long sleeve and short sleeve shirts uh, where they can... Uh, purchase them, and for every shirt that's sold, fifteen dollars of that will place a wreath uh, at Arlington uh, National Cemetery, and uh, it's a, a good way to uh, support Arlington Cemetery. We we say we we we've been fortunate enough the last two years to cover every marker uh, at Arlington, and uh, we never want to go backwards. Uh, as you know, Arlington is a a uh, Active cemetery, they bury anywhere from 20 to 25 people a day normally at Arlington, so it's always increasing. So we always have to increase our number of uh, uh, sponsorship <clears throat> sponsorships to get the uh, wreaths for for that. Absolutely, it, it, it's great. And uh, there's another program that we were talking about uh, where you're encouraging young people to get involved and and thank a veteran as well. Tell everybody about that program too. Yes, we have what's called our, our Thanks a Million cards. They're small business size cards that people can order, again, going on to our webpage. Uh, there's, the cards are all free, but uh, there's a $5 uh, shipping and handling cost for them. But uh, they can get these cards, and we encourage them. Uh, the, the mission for Reese Across America is remember, honor, and teach. And we are stressing the teach aspect this year. We want the... Uh, especially the children, to, to learn the cost of freedom. And one of the ways that uh, they can help uh, and learn about their freedoms is by getting these cards. And when they're going in, we all go into a, a fast food restaurant, and we see that veteran there with his Korean hat on or a Vietnam veteran's hat on or a World War II veteran's hat on. Uh, we're encouraging the parents to get some of these cards for their children and give the card to the child and have them go over and shake that veteran's hand and thank him or her for their service and sacrifice. Uh, it's, we've had some wonderful stories. Uh, you know, you see 
uh, once that's been done by somebody, uh, you'll see that veteran over there crying a little bit that, that somebody's remembered him, and especially when the children do it. It really means a lot to that veteran to, to just to have that little bit of gratitude that somebody does remember him. Uh, one of the things we have, we, we try to do a, a theme each year. Uh, this year's theme is Say the Name. Uh, we believe that uh, you die twice. You die once when you take that last breath and your heart stops beating, but you you die a second time when your name is said for the last time. And we are encouraging everybody this year as you join us in placing those wreaths all across the nation is to stop, say that person's name out loud so they won't be forgotten. And, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm I'm actually on your website right now as we're doing the interview at www.wreathsacrossamerica.org. And it, it's a it's a very poignant website. It's, it's not something that you would normally see in, in this political climate, where there's a lot of self-promotion and, and things like that. And the thing that struck me the most is, is the quote on the top of the page that says, every stone has a story. And the whole idea of saying the name and and actually doing these actions, everybody says, remember our veterans, remember our fallen, but to actually walk the walk and do what you're doing truly is a remarkable thing. And, you know, you said it before, the photo on the page of the wreaths on, on the stones in the snow, just striking, Wayne. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, if people want to donate their time or donate any funds to Wreaths Across America, what's the best way to do that? Right there on the web page, you can see there'll be a little block that says uh, either sponsor a wreath for Arlington or sponsor locally. Uh, if somebody's up there in, you know, Washington State or way over on the West Coast or something, they can go on the web page where it says sponsor locally. Click on there and you type in your state and it'll drop down all the wreaths across America uh, ceremonies that'll be happening in that state in December. And by clicking on, it'll give you the list of the cemeteries. You click on that, whatever cemetery you're interested in, and it'll drop down another page with the contact person on there who is the, each of our locations has a, a location coordinator who uh, takes on the responsibility for doing the ceremony and, and taking care of the wreaths as they come in and getting the volunteers together and like that. They'll have the name and the contact person there if they want to do it locally. Uh, I'm... Also, not only do I serve as chairman of the board for Reese Across America, but uh, I'm also the location coordinator for Arlington Cemetery. So uh, I, I encourage everybody to help us. I, I consider Arlington our nation's cemetery because there are veterans from every state buried there. And we know that a lot of people can't always come to the D.C. area um, uh, at, at wreath time and, and place those wreaths down. So... Uh, they estimated last December we had between 60 and 70,000 volunteers coming to Arlington to help place down those uh, 240,000 plus wreaths that we did at, uh, at Arlington. Absolutely amazing work. Wayne, it's always a pleasure to have someone come on the show to bring up a, a new uh, organization that we can all support. Folks, go to www.wreathsacrossamerica.org. Check it out. Give what you can, whether it be time or money. Wayne Hanson, thanks for coming on the show, and thanks for bringing this to our attention. I'm certainly going to go back to the website, and I'll make a donation very soon. Thank you so much for doing this, sir. Appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome. My name's Andre Walker, and your weekly monologue starts right now. This was the week. Polls in Britain said Brits were more likely to leave the European Union because Barack Obama asked them to stay. That's polls, of course, spelt P-O-L-L-S, not polls as in polls from Poland, who have come in the hundreds of thousands to Britain thanks to EU immigration rules. We understand that these type of polls all agree with Obama. They like Obama and they like the EU as well. But then again, they also like Kazanka, which, for those who are uninitiated, is pig's blood, pig's offal, liver, lungs, skin, fat, buckwheat, barley, rice, kaza, stuff in a pig's intestine. Wow, these guys really have taste. That is dodgier than Barack Obama's birth certificate or Hillary Clinton's computer networking skills. And let's face it, they're fairly dodgy. Talking of Democrats, we hear that Bernie Sanders has had to sack 
loads of his campaign staff. Oh my God, nightmare. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bernie wouldn't say that. Let's go with, oh my, atheist, nightmare. But this laying off proves there is justice in the world. Bernie has proved once and for all that even the best socialists run out of other people's money in the end. Talking of laying, you know Bernie only ever lays on his back during sex. That's because the only thing Democrats can do is screw up. Boom, boom. And anyway, if socialism is so good, why doesn't anyone swim from Miami to Cuba to get away from capitalism? You know, I asked that question on Twitter and one angry lefty sent me the following answer and I quote, because Americans are allowed to get on planes, unquote. Well, it's a fair point, but let's be honest, if Castro let Cubans get on planes, there'd be no one left in the country. Although, to be fair, it might put down the cost of contract cleaning in New York City, which is no bad thing. It reminds me of the old joke, why does Mexico win no gold medals at the Olympics? Because everyone who can run, jump or swim is in America by now. And I suspect after Donald Trump builds his wall, a few high jumpers might make it in as well. And talking of games, I hope everyone is going to be watching the Invictus games from Orlando from the 8th of May to the 12th. The games are designed to help rehabilitate injured servicemen and women who fought in the Afghan conflict. It was the brainchild of Prince Harry. And as part of the marketing campaign, Obama sent a video about how America would bring it at the games. Harry responded by sending him his own video back in which the president is mocked by Her Majesty the Queen. The internet says the Queen owned Obama. Now, at this stage, I could make a joke about Kenyans being owned by British aristocrats, but I'm not brave enough to do it. Guys, you've just got to write that one for yourself or imagine it in your mind. Inner thoughts, outer thoughts. Inner thoughts, outer thoughts. All I can do is repeat the clarion call of every British traditionalist. Uh, it's time to make America great Britain again. As far as individually owning anyone, I'm just too politically correct to make that gag. Just time for last week's quiz question. We asked, what do you do if you cross a crooked lawyer with a crooked politician? Most of you incorrectly answered Chelsea Clinton. Except Webster from Little Rock, who answered, we're really not sure. Well done, Webster. Your oral DNA paternity testing kit is in the post. Until next week, goodbye. Check out Andre's column at townhall.com. Check him out on Twitter at Andre J.P. Walker. And read Andre's work here, Behind Enemy Lines. The show will be right back. But first, a word from Al Sharpton. Good evening, Rev. <clears throat> Thanks Good evening, to Rev. you, Ed. <laughs> Is this Crown Hog Day 2? We are watching... That was Attorney General Eric Holder, ABDs, about some Republicans at home are already beating the drums of war. Today, the Pentagon refuted that claim. And he said the American people do not want him to, quote, dwindling. He, they do not want him dwindling his thumbs. You can get a gig as a court. Uh, contortionist, intravenous fluids and pills coated uh, with gelet uh, gelatin. We don't leave our women or women, women or men in uniform behind. It's a monument to the hubris of Dick Cheney, Representative Raul Ara uh, Labrador. Years of, abu of abuse. I personally apologize to Mr. Peebus. Just ask to soon to be former congressman. Democrats are outright jitty. CIA's counter and counter tourism, counter terrorism center. Veteran Affairs Secretary Shinsketti. Shin Why do I always mess up his name? Shinseki. I love my critics to have fun with that. Politics Nation with the Reverend Al Sharpton starts right now. Good evening, Rev. Good. Good evening, Dr. Dyson. But wait, there's more. And we will much about that be committed. So there's no real conflict. Michael Drunisky, Drunit, 
Juniak, including Lincoln himself, Daniel Days Lewis. We're behind Monica Lewinsky, the one and only Trey Song is here. But Alice.